Good morning, Vicki Lynn here. So last night I had two dreams. One was about my twin flame. One was, uh, and um, remember I was telling you guys that I was sleeping like 10 to 12 hours a night. Uh, a night. I've been doing it for like a week. Um, well, last night um, that wasn't so. Uh, I woke up in the middle of the night and I felt this presence and it was my twin flame and I felt it to the core of me and um, so this union is coming together I don't know how I don't I'm just trusting the process but the power that I felt last night the the caressing everything that I felt last night I could feel it's close so that closeness is like upon me so and that just came through so whatever that means but um, it was very powerful but also too this morning um, I woke up and um, um, I had a dream about uh, well they're kind of taking it from me but um, I had a dream and all these stuff was connected to me and um, it was like sucking me dry. And I felt like I give so much, of, wow, I give so much of myself that um, I feel like I'm kind of being sucked dry. Wow, and I feel that. And um, the amazing thing is, is that in every aspect of my life, every aspect of my life, um, I am doing amazingly. I, everything, there's not one thing except for one thing. Well, there is one thing, but it's coming. I know it's coming and it's this money thing. Um, everything else, uh, is flowing my way. Just this money thing. And it has to do with worthiness and it has to do with this dream. Oh. And, um, and honoring my life. Wow, I felt that. And um, because this dream was so powerful, and that's what I felt to honor my life, to honor my existence. So last night, um, a young soul got a hold of me, and wow, I am surprised I said young soul, but obviously that must be true. So a young soul got a hold of me. She wanted to do a reading. So um, then she uh, emails me back, and then. Uh, because uh, she was guided to come to do a reading with me that I could help her. Her guides showed her that I could help her with the reading. So then I told her the price and she goes, well, what do I get for this amount of money? And the amazing thing is, is that um, our guides lead us somewhere and then we block it. We block it because of something. And, it, and she has money problems, I can already tell, because as soon as uh, I mentioned the money, she's like, um, uh, no, that's her block. And it's so funny. We do that all the time in life. And that's what they showed me in this dream. We, um, our guides take us somewhere and then we block it because we believe we're not worthy. We believe there's a lot of beliefs. There's a lot of beliefs. I don't think I can pay that. I don't do this. So I woke up this morning and I had this, wow, like life's sucking energy, just sucking the life out of me. This is what I felt when I woke up. I'm like, oh my God. And then I was thinking, okay, um, because uh, if by next week the money isn't starting to come in, then I'm going to, I, I'm not going to allow myself to feel a lack of. So uh, I'm going to start uh, going, I'm going to start looking next week for a job and I was a hairdresser for 30 years, very successful hairdresser. And um, I'm a very successful healer too. But this money thing has stopped me. And it's no, I'm not even going to use this word. It's not even stopped me. But there is something there and we're going to unblock it right now in this moment. And not just for me, but for all of you. Because if this happened for me, it's happening for all of you. So, um, okay. <laughs> And this is how it goes. They are just like, they're downloading me right now, whatever needs to be said. And Arian's showing me right now that he wants to come forward and talk about this. And um, so, but real fast before Arian comes through is um, with this, okay, so I felt like 
that all these people were connected to me and just sucking me dry. So I am worthy of everything. We are all worthy of everything. We are. It's amazing how something shows up and we stop that block. We block that because of something that we put on top of that. So, um, and we are all um, uh, energy vampires at times. We all are. Um, me less than more, most. Wow. Me less than most because I, I, I really watch my energy on what I'm doing. But not that I don't get caught up in those moments of uh, that victimhood of um, that energy vampire. And what I mean by that, when you're an energy vampire, it's all about you, you, you. You're not worthy. You're just taking. Give me this. Give me, 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 give me. Or, or whining. Whining, 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 whining. Everybody knows about whining. That whining that just sucks the life out of you. And we all have pinpoint moments that we do this. I do it less and less and less. I catch myself in moments uh, when I'm doing it. So I woke up and with this dream and I just felt like all these tentacles just sucking the life out of me. And I'm going to hold my worthy in this and I'm going to, I'm honoring my life. Everything that you say, everything that you believe about yourself, the, uh, the universe is going to test you. We are tested daily. We are tested daily. We are in the school of life. Now, um, and we come here to get past our beliefs, to get past our uh, victimhood of life, get past all these programs that we have in our body, to become the peace and love that we are. We come here in the school of life to come here to be the peace and love. So, um, being an energy healer, Aaron, it's so funny because this perfect saying, and um, I just loved it. Because all inner and all energy healers, people are control are are instantly connected to you, but they're connected, but they don't want to give you anything in return. They want to take from you, but they don't want to give anything. And that's what I was noticing this morning with hairdressing. Um, when I was a hairdresser, because you can physically see the beauty that the transformation that I'm doing, you don't mind paying that money. But because energy, you feel it. Some people feel it. I really feel it because I'm very open. But because it's energy and you don't see it so much, and um, because it's going to make you do your work or whatever that is bringing up for you, um, you're like, oh, well, I don't know if I need to do that. That's a lot of money. I don't know. I don't know if I'm even worth that. But you don't understand... And until that light switches, until that frequency clicks differently, the most important journey of your life is your inner work. And that's what I'm teaching. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. You wouldn't believe how many times I get free. I get free healings all the time because people give me their sad stories. The universe is wanting me to honor my life. That's why this keeps showing up. And I know that this is my money problem because I give, give, give to the, to the, to the example of exhaustion. I'm not doing that anymore. It's not serving to me and it's not serving to you. Because if you're not giving, when you're receiving, you can't give. Okay, if you're giving, if you're giving, but you're not allowing yourself to receive what you're giving. And that's what I was doing. That's what I was doing because I don't think that I'm worthy, okay, that I'll just give to them because I feel bad for them. No, that's not serving me and it's not serving them. It's not. There has to be an energy exchange, an evenly, an energy exchange. So money is energy. So um, if you can't afford me, but your guides are telling you, get a healing from Vicki, but then when you get that healing and she gives you the price and you're like, oh, I can't afford that, but your guides told you, do you see how you're blocking your life? Do you see how you're blocking your life? And we do this every day, all the time. We do this on other aspects, on other aspects. The universe gives us, they show us where to go, and then we show up we're there, and then we're like, 
Oh my God, this scares me. I don't know. It, it, it might cost a lot of money, which money is nothing. Literally, money is nothing. Money is just an energy exchange. It isn't nothing. It's what you put onto it. And I'm done with this. I'm done with this money energy, this money thing. And today with the retrograde, because we're still in the Leo moon and we're in the moon retrograde right now. And this is the last day. Tomorrow we're going to wake up and feel amazing. Um, we are really triggering on this last day. I can feel it because I'm feeling it. And you know what? I'm worthy. So if the, if the universe is telling you to get a healing from me and then you are stopping it because you choose, oh, I don't want to pay that, why don't you look at it differently? Okay, guides, if you want me to get a healing with Vicki, bring this money forward. This is what I'm teaching you, to be the powerful being that you are. So if you're being guided and you're being shown to... Um, do something, ask your guides to bring it forward. I am teaching you to be the most powerful being that you can be. Do not let this money, not even for me. I am worthy of everything in this world. So are you. You only lack of because you choose that. I do not choose lack of anything. I am worthy of everything. I have worked very hard in my life. Very hard on this journey. Every day, every moment I work on this journey. I am worthy of everything. Just as you are. You stop yourself because you believe something about something. And I know that I can feel the power of how I'm putting this out there. But I'm very passionate about it. Because I'm honoring my life and I honor your life. If you're doing something. So, even as I wake this morning. A very close friend of mine who's doing the course of life. She goes, oh, I can't do the course of life um, because of money things. Once again, there's that money thing. But I, it triggered me because I had rescheduled everything for the course of life for this woman. Did I honor my life? Even when she wanted to change it, I didn't honor my life. I felt kind of, I don't want to do this. But I did it anyway. I'm not doing that anymore. I honor me. And that's what I'm teaching you, to honor you. If you receive a healing from me, and the greatest thing is, is that your guides send you to me. To me. Your guides send you this way. Then you ask, well, what am I going to receive with this healing? Do you not feel the power in me? I watch my own videos. I feel the power. You feel the power. You would not be calling me. You would not be uh, emailing me. You stop it by your words. You stop it by your actions. You are being drawn to me for a reason. To put your stuff on it, you're already stopping that. And that is a fact. So, whenever I'm drawn to somebody, and I do it all the time, even like yesterday when I was in the store, and I looked up from this lady, and I just smiled, and I said, hi. I lit up this lady's world just by doing that, because I honor my life. And I'm giving to her, because she deserves it. You deserve everything. But you have to be worthy of that. You have to trust the process that you are worthy of that. So if you're not feeling, or you're having a lack of money, Tell your guides, bring it forward because I am worthy of all this money. You are, just as I am. There is no difference. If you are doing your work, if you are physically doing your work every day of every moment, your guides are bringing it forward. I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. And I want to thank everyone and I don't mean to trigger you my friends I don't mean to trigger you but in a way I guess I do so I'm honoring my life if you're drawn or guided towards me allow the process to happen don't put your stuff on what you think should happen in a healing or you can't afford it you're guided to me for a reason you stop that reason because you put something on it. 
you stop doing, oh, I don't know if I can do the course of life. And I hear this all the time. I get this all the time. I don't know if I can do this course of life. It, the, the time, well, you know what? We're running out of time. We're running out of time. And then what's going to happen, the time's going to shift, and thank God you're going to make it. But you're not going to be where you want to be if you don't do your work. You came here to evolve. You came here to expand. You want everybody to help you, but you don't want to help yourself. It's time to choose you and not choosing what's on this outside. This is a shell. This is an experience of the experiencer. The true authentic self is inside. And that's what you're here to accomplish. To service this inner child. To service your heart. Your heart, your inner child, whatever you choose to call it, knows the way. It truly knows the way. So with this, um, Ariane's coming forward right now. So I'm going to allow this to happen. And um, I send love and light to you. Subscribe to my channel. Do a healing and a reading. And if you're guided towards me, there's a reason. Don't stop the reason because of a belief that you have. It blows me away. Even me. I do it sometimes too. Less and less and less. Less and less that I do it. I am honoring my life. We are worthy of everything in this life. So, I'm allowing Ariane. So, connect to Mother Gaia. Connect to Source. Connect to Heart. Ah, Ariane, I'm here. And yes, it feels like eons since we have come forward with you. We are connecting you at Heart Centered. We are filling into the energies of Hmm. The timelines that are being pulled forward at this time. There are many connections to many dimensions that you are connecting to. We are connecting to the ninth and seventh dimension that you are bringing forward right now. We are very honored to be here at this timeline, at this very moment. We have been coming through less and less for growth on this channel. This channel is growing and she is excelling very far and she is getting it. She is getting it on every cellular moment, on every cellular cell. Each and, one, each and every one of you are getting it on some aspects. In the energy fields that we are filling into, and you can fill into your energy field now, there are a lot of you, most of you, of why we are here, of why we have came forward, of what you believe is why we are here. You have came through these many dimensions at this very timeline to learn your self-worth, even in your experience. It is to grow. As a child, you know your self-worth. As a baby, you know your self-worth. You feel it. You are it. And then, society, the humans, consciousness comes upon you, and you believe that you are something different than what you are then the self-worth is no longer there. So you go through this consciousness believing that you are not worthy of anything, of material stuff. If I can buy it, I am worthy of it. But then after you buy it, it did not satisfy me. I got it. But now I want something more. You see self-worth in material aspects. You don't see self-worth as what you are. You are worthy of everything. You are worthy of everything. Of all the power that you are. Of all the energy that you are. Of the highest frequency that you are. 
We guide you in many ways, just as this channel has shown you. We guide you, we push you to where you should be, and then something stops you. Most of that is this money, this green paper that you carry and transfer back and forth. Some of you believe that you need to hold on to it and hold a tightness to it. And then you believe that it is this and this and this. And then there is stuckness. Money is nothing but a transformation. Going back and forth, a giving and receiving. This channel is learning to honor her life. She is worthy of everything just as you are worthy of everything. We show you love. We show you how to be loved. We show you how to experience yourself. You go in, you see yourself. Oh, 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 that's scary. I don't want like to see myself. And then you close that self down again. And then we move you in this direction. And it shows up and you see this, what we would call the word love. It is all around you. But to you it feels unfamiliar. It feels scary. It feels different. In that you feel stuck. Even yesterday, and this being will know who it is, there is a stuckness in this being. We are showing her to move. We are putting movement in her life. A healing will resonate with this. Healings move you past. You're stuck this through your stuck. They are the most powerful thing you can do. All the healers are being brought forward to you. To help you unstick you. To help you move along. To help you expand. So we send you to these healers, to these mm, life changes. You get at their doorway. And then your questions begin. You're not trusting the process if you're asking questions. We don't mean to be hard. But you are out of time. The chaos that you see in the world is opening up everyone's eyes. Everyone is looking at this world and this frequency differently. It is a time to honor and show your self-worth. In that self-worth is honoring your life. Money means nothing. It is an exchange. For all. You have no control over anything in your existence. We show you places to go, people to see. When you get there, you automatically withdraw. Fear shows up. Send love to that and trust the process. We are guiding you for a purpose. Listen to our guidance. It is helping you. When you get to the doorway, do not question. Trust. We are always with you. We always have been. We are bringing forth that this channel is even feeling some of this. But she is breaking through. She is honoring her life. She is worthy of everything. And it is coming forward fast. 
It is coming forward fast for all of you. Do not close the doors. Do not stop where we take you. We are taking you to your highest version of yourself. And you block us many times over and over and over and over. But we will still be there, moving you along, hitting you harder to say, not really, but that is a way that you humans, and we smile, can understand this. First, we are nudging you. Then we are. And then you end up sick in the hospital. And we are still there with you. Telling you to go within. To search within. To honor your life. You came here to grow, to expand, to help this earth plane grow. You get stuck in the consciousness of the consumer that you, they have created. You are a consumer that the world has created. Let go of the consumer. Listen to your guidance. We are always with you. We love you. I do. <sighs> wow. Wow. And when I channel Ariane, it's like a dream, a dream fading away. And I, all I can see is consumer, consumer, consumer. That's what I feel. And, um, so I can even imagine what was said. I could feel the energy. I feel the love. So <laughs> I have to laugh because when, after I channel, I hear and then I, I'm clear I don't know anything. I can't even tell you what we are talking about. So I'm sitting in front of the screen going, okay. <laughs> But I'm trusting the process. I'm completely trusting the process. So, I love you, Arion, for all your guidance, for all your angels. I love you, and I am honoring my life. I am completely honoring my life. I am worthy of everything. And let's bring in the receiving that we are. We are worthy of everything. We are worthy, and then... What happens is, is that they guide us along and then we stop ourselves because of something. Quit stopping yourself. Let it flow. Let it flow. You are worthy. Don't put your blocks on it. Don't put your blocks on it. You're a powerful being. We are all powerful beings. Be the power that you are. I send love and light. If you want a reading or a healing, email me below. And don't put your blocks on it. When you do it, trust the process. There's a reason why they're guiding you my way. I send love and light to you. Subscribe to my channel. The Course of Life is Monday nights, 4.30. I send love. May you be blessed. Right? <laughs>